Whatever happened to Yvonne Craig, Batgirl from TV's Batman? Less than a year before her passing in 2015, actress Yvonne Craig was chatting with Closer about the enduring nature of the classic TV series of the 1960s Batman, starring Adam West in the title role, Burt Ward as his sidekick, Robin, and Yvonne herself in the dual role of librarian Barbara Gordon and TV's first superheroine, Batgirl. Yvonne was born on May 16, 1937 in Taylorsville, Illinois, though she was raised in Columbus, Ohio. The family moved to Dallas, Texas in 1951. Much of her early life was filled with dancing in the hopes of being a ballerina. She was discovered by ballerina and instructor Alexandra Danilova, which led to her becoming a member of the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo as its youngest member, which she would say helped her tremendously when she was eventually cast as Batgirl. She left the group in 1957 and made the move to Los Angeles in the hopes of continuing to dance professionally, but found herself drawn to acting, which would eventually lead to co-starring with Elvis Presley and, of course, joining Batman. Yvonne was pretty much everywhere at the time, co-starring with Elvis Presley in films like It Happened at the World's Fair and Kissin' Cousins, the James Coburn spy film in Like Flint and the sci-fi cult film Mars Needs Women. And then there were those TV guest appearances, ranging from Bob Denver's The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis to Voyage to Laramie, The Big Valley, and McHale's Navy. By 1967, she was looking for a regular series and eventually found it in Batman. Dozier must have been impressed, because she was offered the job, although she was first required to shoot a presentation for the ABC network executives. Her agent eventually called saying that they wanted her to fly to Chicago for the NAPTE convention, which would allow independent television stations to decide whether or not they would pick up the show with her added to it. So Yvonne found herself cast as Barbara Gordon, who was the daughter of Commissioner Gordon, and Batgirl, who mysteriously arrives on the scene to fight alongside Batman and Robin. The series itself ran from 1966 to 68, and she was a part of it for the final year. She also enjoyed the show's elaborate fight scenes, which were a true highlight of each episode with kicks and punches being followed by bold captions like, BAM! or, ZAP! Adding to the fun is the fact that at the time, she was a motorcycle rider, so was able to ride Batgirl's bike without any problem or the need of a stunt person, though the producers were reluctant to allow her to really participate in the fight scenes at first. Although Yvonne had described the costume earlier as being sprayed on, she didn't really have any problems with it, particularly because it was far more comfortable than it looked. Being a ballet dancer, she said, you're in leotards all the time, so it was just like another costume, a well-made costume. Pat Bardo had designed this costume, but she didn't cut the top on the bias, and I'm bosomy. Once Batman had finished its run, Yvonne found herself doing guest starring appearances again on different TV shows, with occasional roles in films. One of the shows she appeared on was the original Star Trek, in the third season episode, Whom Gods Destroy, as a green-skinned Orion slave girl named Marta. The character she loved, working with series star William Shatner? Not so much. Following the show, things began to change for her in terms of work. After all the hoopla of Batman, she went back to being exactly what she was before. A working actress who could be depended upon to give a good performance in dramas and sitcoms on TV. She did that for a couple of years, and then it began to dry up for her. She wasn't that young anymore. She was no longer in her 20s, which sounds silly that that would bother people. But the thing is, for every Yvonne Craig there was a Karen Valentine coming up behind her, pushing her out of the way. She was never given parts that she could sink her teeth in and make people say, this woman can really act. So by the mid-70s her career was practically over and it made her depressed and resentful of Batman like the people who were on Star Trek resented that show until the movie started. Finally giving up on acting, Yvonne moved on to a career in real estate, becoming a successful broker. She also provided her voice to the character, Grandma, for the animated series Olivia, and wrote a personal memoir, From Ballet to the Batcave and Beyond. The latter would result in her taking part in autograph shows and the convention circuit, where that allowed her to interact with fans. In the end, sprayed on costume and grabby starship captain notwithstanding, Yvonne was proud of her contributions to the legacy of both Batman and Star Trek, though she also viewed it all pretty pragmatically. 
Unfortunately, Yvonne Craig died of metastatic breast cancer that had spread to her liver, at her home in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, California, at the age of 78. Goodbye Batgirl from TV's Batman, legend actress Yvonne Craig.